Welcome back. Okay, so today we are looking at a travel itinerary for the Philippines. Uh, this is a three week long itinerary and we're going to show you the different destinations we travel to, how we got there, the route we took and some awesome activities you can do in those places as well. Now for a more comprehensive guide of those activities, we've got separate videos in this playlist you can click on and it'll give you all the details, the prices and everything you need to know. We flew from the UK to Manila, which was our first port of call. We then caught a flight with Skyjet Airlines straight down to Quran, which cost £90 each. Now in Quran, there's some fantastic things to do. Of course, you have to try all the different boat trips to the islands, to the coves, see the beautiful beaches. But as well, have a go at climbing Mount Tapias for some amazing views. From Quran, we booked the fast ferry online all the way to El Nido. This cost just £32 each. It was supposed to take four hours, but ended up taking six. We spent another five days in El Nido, and that just about brushed the surface. There was so much to do. We went to Nakalit Waterfalls, which was an amazing day out. We also went zip lining down to Las Cabanas Beach. And of course, you have to try the island hopping tours here as well. Most of the tour operators in El Nido will offer a shuttle service going all the way down to Puerto Princesa. It takes five hours, but it only costs seven pound each. So that's what we did. We spent a couple of days in Puerto Princesa and we checked out the underground river tour. Now we booked this through a website called kluke.com and it costs £25.39 for the entire day tour. From Puerto Princesa, we caught a flight with Cebu Pacific Air to Cebu City. It cost us £114 each. Once we got to the airport in Cebu, we caught a taxi to the South Bus Terminal and then caught the bus down to Barian, it took us about three hours and the bus just cost us £2.50. We spent another five days in Barian because there was quite a few things to be doing. We went to see Kawasan Falls which was absolutely gorgeous. We also checked out the local natural spring pools called Cansanto Springs and then we did the day tour to Oslob to swim with the whale sharks which was incredible. When we were finished in Balian, we caught the bus back to Cebu City, where we flew with Cebu Go all the way to Legaspi. The flights only cost £35 each. All our flights were booked through Skyscanner. Now make sure if you do visit Legaspi, you check out the ATV tours of Mayan Volcano. It was so much fun. You also get a chance to zip line down as well. After a relaxing three days in Legaspi, it was nearly time to go home, so we needed to catch a flight back to Manila. We flew with Cebu Pacific Air, it cost us £106 and we landed in Manila with just a couple of days spare. Now if you are going to Manila to fly home, make sure before you go, you head down to Makati and check out the ringside bar to see the midget boxing. That was a load of fun and a really good way to end our holiday in the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget, we upload new videos every single Monday for backpacking tips and travel advice. Drunk on Wonderlust.